Hi, this is a day two of uh, 30 days in AI testing challenge. So the day two challenge and topic is more around reading an introductory article on AI in testing and then sharing it. So uh, the task uh, says that, I mean, we, we can look for any article that introduces AI in software testing and uh, read that out. And uh, it could be a guide, blog post or case study. So what I did, I, I searched on the internet uh, about AI in testing and I found this article AI in software testing by the QLE.com, uh, a popular blog post, I believe, because I found it uh, on the first page of Google, which, which means I mean, the SEO was pretty good and high. And it talked about AI, machine learning, advantages and, and, and multiple topics, uh, challenges and I mean, tips and so on. So what I did, I took a note of that and uh, I, I made the mind map out of it. So a quick background about me. So I mean, I'm Rahul Parwal. I prepared this for the day two of 30 days of uh, AI in testing challenge. And uh, the source of this mind map is this QA lead blog on this topic AI in software testing. So this blog talks about AI being an invaluable tool, uh, how it enhances productivity, reduces and can help in reducing the effort uh, that people have to put in their day to day work. Uh, either it's uh, in terms of writing mails or uh, creating draft, draft reports and, and so on and so forth. Also, in terms of analyzing large data sets. So if you give large data set and ask it to work on that, so good in that that aspect and industry transforming in general because uh, not just testing, but almost all fields are today running behind and around AI and uh, GPT and large language model. So what is this AI in testing? So starting with the basics. So AI is machines ability to do tasks that are in general done by human intelligence. So I mean tasks that uh, you used to need human intelligence. If a machine can do that, then I mean, that's uh, what AI is in a simpler manner. And uh, then popular use cases for testers are test idea generation that uh, give me some ideas to test, for example, login. So that's one way how you could use AI or test data generation, test script generation. And uh, when used with machine learning, which means, I mean, if you have existing data of your testing records and artifacts and project, so when you use it with your existing data and you use a machine learning model to like train your <coughs> AI on that model, uh, that will actually fuel the power. So I mean, uh, AI in general, I mean, uh, uh, is good, but then if you fuel it with machine learning, that, that will actually generate the power. What are the advantages of AI in testing? So, so essentially, I mean, uh, it's in terms of uh, three, three main, main things that the article claims. First is increased speed and efficiency. It gave a couple of examples, for example, uh, asking AI to write test ideas or, I mean, if you have a test case and then you want a to convert it into BDD, then AI can do that very well. I mean, give the test case and write this in BDD format and AI will generate the BDD Gherkin language and so on. And or write sample code for this use case or something. Improved quality assurance in terms of uh, using tools that uh, have AI or that uh, provide AI assistance and using them, leveraging them and then cost saving, faster execution cycle overall and reduced cost of fixing issues. So, even like with test scripts, if there are issues, so if you are using the help of AI, you can fix and debug your issues faster. So I mean, the cost of fixing and maintenance will be reduced if you use AI, uh, which is kind of a valid point. And then AI for software testing, uh, how, how you can use it. So essentially, uh, multiple ways. I mean, first is this automated script generation which multiple tools provide like test team, Catalon, chat GPT, then test case optimization. Uh, so essentially AI can identify patterns from your existing repository and trends and suggest to you, I mean, that what kind of tests are needed. And uh, maybe by looking into your app insights, it can tell you like what are the critical areas on this app and where should you focus as a tester. So give you ideas on that, all those aspects and remove redundant test cases or duplicate test cases and so on. And similarly, I mean, automated test execution 
and uh, and things like that so so i mean ai could be pretty powerful in all these aspect and also with locator update and uh, updating xpath and automatically so uh, these are certain aspects now but they, i mean these things comes with challenges so first uh, is i mean it's it's a long learning curve so using ai as a road person is one thing but uh, uh, learning ai and learning different aspects of ai and use cases so that you can integrate it into your existing workflows so that's that requires some training and i mean uh, practicing so that's one challenge second thing is difficulty of debugging so if for example the ai algorithm or the ai program gives you issue then it's very difficult to debug that because ai algorithms are complex and you will never be able to find the actual root cause why these problems are coming so now that can be tr- troubling for you because in any other program uh, it's easier to find the issues by debugging them and then fixing those issues and getting the things moving but with ai that is difficult and which, which is a very big challenge with ai and uh, tips is i mean first is i mean research on ai tools multiple tools are there multiple tools are coming and each has its own advantage and disadvantage so weigh in all of those aspects very judiciously uh, develop a test strategy very important write down your testing goals i mean what do you expect from ai i mean what kind of task do you want to put into ai and you want to rely on ai maybe it could be like for generating test data or for uh, writing test in bdd so i mean whatever your strategy and goals are i mean developing that around ai or using ai or i mean incorporating ai in 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 the best sense and then invest in training so training people is important i mean even i am doing this uh, kind of a training exercise so yeah that's a high level of uh, what i learned and uh, to summarize that i mean i've, I've posted my answer uh, in the response uh, so i mean my main takeaways were, were that like ai is certainly an invaluable tool and it's like a quantum leap uh, it has its use cases in almost all aspect of testing and testing workflows and uh, transition to actually enabling ai in testing world uh, i mean that would really need some upskilling and design strategies and i mean stuff like that uh, potential is there in test ideas test data test healing scripting result analysis but uh, uh one big challenge is that most existing data is is not reliable i mean even the data that's out on the internet it's not reliable it's not of very good quality so i mean the results in that case would be unreliable and then need to be re 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 verified by experts and people and maybe refed into ai so all those aspects so yeah that's my mind map and uh, that was my day 2 of 30 days in ai so yeah thank you bye and i will see you tomorrow